As of late April, the roads to many of the free campsites from freecampsites.net were still closed, so I headed to one of the only open ones in the area, South Fork Campground. As with any time going to a new destination, I didn't know quite what to expect, but that's part of the excitement, isn't it? All right, folks, I'm trying to get to a campground and it looks like this is my first creek crossing ever. It doesn't look deep at all, very shallow. Oh, oh, oh. Here I go. Oh, no problem. There's no rain forecast, so I should be all right tomorrow. A lot of water. All right, let's hope that stop anybody else from getting to the campsite. Here we go. Hello there, I'm at South Fork Campground. There aren't too many people here, I think because of that stream that crosses right over it that I'll just show you here. It's uh, you need a high clearance vehicle to get past it. And I think, I don't know if it's scaring other people off, because a lot of people have SUVs and whatnot. It's a pretty okay campground. There's a lot of campsites, there's good space between them. Some are closer than others. But there's also a stream right back there. I'm gonna. I was listening to it all last night. I'm gonna go over there and check it out. I just got back. Um, the closest place with cell service that I could find was six and a half miles from here. So I drove up there, spent a couple hours up there, and I just got back to my same campsite. And I didn't really explore the stream because, I don't know. I'm gonna check it out though. Uh, I think there's some other people, my neighbors are I think over there now. And uh, I'll go over there. Yeah, I'll check it out. Here's the view from my car. Ooh, yep, there's a tree right here. So I get a little bit of shade in the afternoon. And you can probably just barely hear a stream and the neighbors. Let's go exploring. There's a left way and this way. Let's go this way. Looks easier. Really well worn in trail. This all looks like a washout area. I'm sure sometimes it floods the whole thing out. Well, there's some people. There's my neighbors. Really flowing. Wow, it's flowing pretty well. 
Wowzers! I'm here at the South Fork Campground. It's Sunday morning. I'm going to take the Manzanita Trail up to Vincent Gap. I don't know names when I threw height, uh, but Vincent Gap is the trailhead for Mount Baden-Powell. So there should be quite a lot of activity there. It's Sunday morning, five miles up. I believe it's like 2,000 feet up. We'll see. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty simple hike. It shouldn't be any getting lost or bouldering or anything. I bet it's really easy. I don't know, it's gonna be a while though, but let's see what it's gonna be like. I think from above we'll be able to see the campground pretty well because I saw some hikers before. We'll see. Here's a view of the campsite. Someone's running a generator. My car is right over there. Generator. It smells. One of my near neighbors. More people over there. This section of the trail looks like it's an old mine or something. Looks like they worked or worked on it recently. Pretty crazy walls, huh? But they got the water diversions cut in. Yeah, it's like an old mine. It's amazing how many metal posts there are here. Dragged them all in. Put the wood in to hold the rocks. Like a retaining wall. There's pipes down there too. I guess to divert the water underneath somewhere. So it's all walking up this trail. Of course. I'm never gonna record it, but when I see a tick on my leg, I panic and try to get it off. It was crawling, so I tried to brush it with my trekking pole because I thought it was an ant. It was a big one because it was an adult. Well, when I did that, it started to hold on and it was starting to bury its head in. So I had to use my fingernails and I managed to flick it off. But yeah, like I'm gonna stop and record it. Well, I could be doing better things like flicking ticks off my leg. So I've been paranoid. I haven't brushed up. I haven't brushed up on the brush. But it could be just laying on the ground. It grabbed onto my shoe. Crawled up. Got to my sock. I don't have anything treated. Here's a little bit of grass. I'm going to have to uh, find some way to treat my clothes soon. Oh well, I'll have to order some concentrate and try to soak everything. We'll see. I'm so glad we didn't see any ticks when we were doing the trail work because we were in thick brush. I'm wondering if that's because it's part of it actually because the adult ticks are usually what grew that dropped off after they fed after they were nymphs. So usually it'd be somewhere where animals walk. So in thick, thick brush, you usually don't see deer trying to walk through that. So maybe we got lucky because of that. Okay, walk down over there into this area and uh, I can't see the trail anywhere. I have no idea where I'm going. Kind of looks like it right there is like a flat area. I looked at it for uh, further back and it was not really a trail. Just kind of flat looking. See, there's nothing there, it's just rocks. It goes nowhere. A lot of trees in the way. I don't see any trail ahead. I knew it crossed the stream somewhere. I'm not, I'm sure this is it. I have no idea where the crossing is, nor where the trail picks up. I do believe we're going up there though. Or maybe we go around. Time to consult the phone. 
across the creek right here. It wasn't too bad except for a rock I wasn't expecting to flip, but my feet are dry. And that's where we came. And I should have looked harder. There's like a post right there. It's definitely not natural because there's a bunch of rocks piled up underneath it. So I bet that's a trail. So I looked at the map and the topographic map shows that is not it. We're going up this valley. We're going to go all the way up over a ridge and then to the trailhead. But that's our target. I am not sure how close I am to the trailhead, but look, there's a little bit of snow behind me, but this one's the first thick batch, actually. Look at that. Look, I have to walk on ice. It's really frozen here. Huh. It's frozen here. It's not slushy. I'm at 6,600 feet according to my watch. I didn't calibrate it though, so I'm not sure how accurate it is right now. Look at that. Look at that. Fascinating. Uh, I got something in my face. Hold on. You see something in your face, all you think is tick. That wasn't a tick, it was probably a stick. I rhymed! It wasn't a tick, it was probably a stick. Or it wasn't a tick, it was just a stick. I don't hear any cars. We should be on the uh, north side of the road. I don't hear any people, which just means I'm far away. Man, where is this truck? It is now 11.42. I made it at two miles an hour, I would get there at 12. At two and a half miles an hour, I would have gotten there at 11.30. Five miles makes math easy. But uh, it's 11.45, which is a combination. So obviously I went slower than 2.2 miles an hour. But I think I'll get there before 12. I had to have been doing two, at least even with me wandering around at the crossings. Look at that, more snow. Oh, the road's still closed. I don't recognize any of this. That's a lot of snow up there. Check that out, the road's still closed. I thought it'd be open by now. And then, there's the trailhead and there's a huge PCT marker. And the PCT actually comes down there somewhere. You can see the trail right on the left. Oh, hey, I didn't have to check both ways when I crossed the road. Here's the rock I sat on and rested. Not the most comfortable rock. Ow, my shoulder. There's a lot of cars here. I wonder where they're hiking. I was here about a month ago driving a hiker through, just visiting Wrightwood and checking out places because she was going home. And this area was covered in snow, but there's no snow at all. I wonder how high it can go before the snow shows up. Wow, this thing is uh, not plumb. Was it like this before? I don't remember. But yeah, there were tons of people here actually sledding down the hills. There was snow on everything. There's nothing now. One month. Look at that, all that. Can't really see Baden Powell from here. It's past here, but pretty cool. Check out those mountains. I'll tell you, snow makes everything just look so pretty. I'm gonna sit down on that park bench. I'm not gonna sit down on that bench because it's gonna be cold in the shade. Ooh, I'm in the sun now and I'm kinda cool. Ooh, I hope I, well, I guess I'll just get going if I get too cold. Hmm, I heard noises coming from up there earlier, so I turned on my camera and I'm just looking up here slowly. I did not see this at all when I was hiking up. It's a car. It must have washed down from up there. I wonder if someone just drove it off. That's pretty weird. Now it's just full of dirt. It's amazing that it's not completely rusted.
But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep going. <laughs> it's weird. It has spoiler on the back, so it must be kind of a sporty car. No animals, though. Hmm. Check out up there. I'm at a crossing, and I looked up and thought, oh, man, all that snow, that's what melted down and just washed us out. That's where I'm going right now. But look, there's a road right there. That's Route 2. It's closed, but that's the road, and up above the road, snow. But for me, we're going this way. This is all washed out. There's no water. It's just incredibly washed out. We just have to find a way across. It's not too bad. There were some big drops, but I'm sure PCT folks had it worse at Mission Creek. Yeah, up ahead you can see the big drop-offs. <laughs> you can see my footprints. It's not bad at all. It seems like the way I came was much worse than the uh, way I'm going right now. It seems like any time I go up, I take a hard route, and then when I come down, I see the easier routes, and then I take that. I guess that's life. You just, oh, that's too hard. All right, let's go this way. And you can see where you want to go. Makes life a lot easier. Oh wow. All right, so I'm really confused. There's another car down there. I wonder how many cars are just flying off roads and into the ditches. What is going on? Is that a motorcycle? It looks like a car and it also looks like a motorcycle handle on the front of the car. Like two things. Did a car hit a motorcycle and just fly down the ditch? So weird. It's all graffitied up like people have been down here just marking it up, which is weird too. I don't know what's going on. I was just wondering, these are salt sticks? They're uh, electrolyte tablets, you just suck on them. Do they look too much like drugs in these bags? I remember on Amazon I ordered a bunch of these bags and I learned that uh, drug dealers like to get their bags from Amazon and I thought, did I just flag myself as a drug dealer? But now I 
Hmm, that looks... Hmm. I'm still at the South Fork campground. This is Monday morning. Yesterday, everybody kind of packed up and left. And at 7.30, the last car that was right next to me left. Or two cars with like, I don't know how many people in it. But since then, I don't think there's anybody here tonight. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything. I walked to the restroom, which is at the very end, and I didn't see anything. Haven't heard any car doors close. Haven't seen any smoke. I think I'm here by myself. It's so weird because just 24 hours ago, every campsite was packed Sunday morning. I mean, a car would leave a campsite, like here, a car would leave and then within an hour or so another car would just pull right in because there's so many cars driving through it was insane so all day saturday all day sunday every spot was taken and then all of a sudden sunday night eight o'clock i'm here by myself <laughs> it's so wild so yesterday's trail by the way it, go, it went right to the right side, right side of those rocks right there, actually, and it went over. So that's where it goes. And that goes up to Vincent Pass. Some people are saying up this way is where the water is coming from, and there's supposed to be a waterfall. And someone said there's a trail that goes further up, but I don't think it does. I think she mixed it up with this islip trail here. I don't know if you could see from here. You could see it from above, but... There's a series of switchbacks and it goes around right there. And I do believe that goes all the way up to Islip Saddle, which is close to Mount Williamson and Mount Islip and Little Jimmy Campground. I'm half thinking I'll come back, park here, take this, go up to Little Jimmy, go climb Mount Islip, go camp out at Little Jimmy, and then hike over to Mount Williamson hike that come back and then take the trail back here and if a weekday is as deserted here as like today i could go clean myself off in the stream no problem although that water's so cold but uh this campsite's pretty good i mean it's crazy on a weekend but you just get here early enough and grab a spot and don't expect any privacy and a whole lot of noisy neighbors all through the night in fact, Saturday night, there were, I don't know, five guys. They were smoking and drinking. They were playing music here. There's a group playing music over there. There's another group playing music over there. None of them were blasting it necessarily, but they were playing it out loud. But I didn't have, have too bad a problem sleeping. I just put on some a TV show and just went to sleep listening to that. And, uh, and I was out. I get pretty tired when it's time to sleep pretty crazy I'm by myself I'm coming back probably tonight there's a 14 day limit I already did uh, three nights so the little Jimmy thing will be two more nights it'll be May by the time I can't camp here anymore it'll be all right and there is a rattlesnake that lives here somewhere I haven't seen him again I've only seen him once but there's holes everywhere he could be anywhere I haven't seen him though well bye bye snake I'll be back I like this site that I'm at now just because of this tree right here. It gives me a lot of shade from about 2 o'clock onward. So in the morning there's quite a bit of sun but in the afternoon it gets pretty cool so it's nice. And the elevation here is I think it was 4500 so it's actually pretty cool here. In the shade it's cool and uh, it's a pretty nice site. It's one of the very 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 free campsites that are open right now so I don't have much choice so I'll be back I might spend the weekend here again I'll just have to be here Friday before noon see that water see how all the rocks make all these like um, dips and stuff I can't believe how many sedans drove through here I mean, they had to have been scraping every time, every one of them. There's no way they could have gone through here without scraping. It's crazy. I don't think I would have ever tried this in like a Prius or an Altima. Or in... Man, I don't understand how so many people did this.